place, but uh, I happen to be the comptroller of the great state of Maryland. I'm delighted to be here to recognize this organization and each of you uh, for whatever participation you have. You know, I, I wake up in the morning and read the newspaper like everybody else or look at the TV set and it's kind of difficult to find any rays of hope and sunshine and people doing something to help other people. And I'm so pleased to be here with Tony Remo and uh, Laura and also Morgan. Uh, thank you very much for being here. And we're going to recognize the Not My Child QAC 2.0 as the recipient of the 2021 William Donald Schaefer Helping People Award for Queen Anne's County. This small organization, but mighty organization, is a ray of sunshine for me as comptroller because this issue of opiate addiction is still with us tragically and especially affecting our young people. I'm particularly glad that there's going to be a check presented to Chesapeake College to help the kids at that college communicate with their peers and tell them how dangerous it is and what tragedies can occur from the use of opiates. We named this award, it's the 10th year we've had it, after William Donald Schaefer, the iconic comptroller, governor, four-term mayor of Baltimore. He's a fabulous, legendary person. His maxim, whenever he confronted anyone who wanted him or wanted his staff to do something, he would turn to his staff and say, do it now. That was his approach. Governor Schaefer understood that every person had a responsibility to strengthen their community, even the little guy. This epidemic, Opiate crisis continues to devastate Maryland's communities, with many of us losing loved ones in the process. This epidemic remains one of the biggest threats to the people of Maryland. We must remain vigilant in our efforts to get people the help they need. Not My Child QAC 2.0 is leading the way in those efforts. And I just want to congratulate, and if you could give a quiet round of applause to Tony Reno. And also to his newly new spouse, Laura, who has done such a fabulous job also creating this great organization. There you go. Laura. <laughs> Tony, I can't imagine the pain that you felt or Morgan when you lost your son and brother to this crisis. I know Anthony Jr.'s memories continue to inspire your work with the residents of Queen Anne's County. Today, Not My Child QAC 2.0 is a leader in supporting opiate awareness and prevention activities here and across the Eastern Shore. You help people on their journey to recovery, you and the rest of this great group, all of your teammates provide aid for families as well. <laughs> By sponsoring retreats such as Camp New Dawn, you give people the time and space to process the grief of losing a family member to substance abuse. The opiate crisis remains a huge emergency in the state of Maryland, and we cannot afford to lose even a single other person because of it. Winning this fight will not be easy, but I know there are good people like Tony Reno, members of the team on, of Not My Child QAC 2.0. This award embodies William Donald Schaefer's lifelong and dedication to the little guy. There are few organizations in our great state that represent the dedication to their fellow Marylanders better than this one that we're honoring today. We're committed with Tony to making Queen Anne's County a better place. I'm truly honored to present this Helping People Award for William Donald Schaefer in recognition and sincere appreciation of your invaluable contributions to the citizens of Queen Anne's County and indeed the nation through your civic contributions, leadership, and advocacy. Thank you so much, Tony, for what you do. And just on a personal note, my younger sister, who was a brilliant person, tenured professor at University of California, Berkeley, out on the West Coast, 
We lost her because of this addiction issue. And so this is something that I really want to just salute everybody who's involved in it for coming up with something that gives us all a way forward through a relatively dark period right now. Tony, let me turn it over to you. Have you speak for as long or as little as you want? I was and... going to speak. Oh, good. Morgan, <laughs> yeah. come on up. Mr. Francho, thank you. Yeah. The yeah. Office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if you don't know me, my name is Morgan Reno, and my dad is Anthony Reno. And I'd like to start by thanking everybody for coming out today and sharing your day with us. This is an amazing way to honor the entire staff at Not My Child QAC. And this award is truly based on the collective efforts of not just the staff and the members that make up Not My Child QAC, but as well as a community standpoint as well. Whether you are a large or small donor, or a participant or a volunteer at one of our events, it would have been merely impossible to have grown this far without all of your efforts. What started out five years ago as raising funds for two unfortunate families to help aid in the burial cost, it has now transpired to the following. We have helped over 40 families with the burials and the assistance in the cost of those, assisted in education for schools and the awareness, helped over 20 people in recovery programs with co-pays and administration fees implemented grant programs for individuals with career paths and substance abuse counseling in our newest program that we are now piloting, which is helping trade membership programs in which will match individuals recovered or recovering in different states to com with companies and apprenticeship programs. We will assist these individuals with the startup of cost of tools, uniform, transits, and fees are necessary. We will also continue to aid in the programs as Camp New Dawn is run by Heather, Shelley, and Rhonda at the Hospice Compass in Centerville, Maryland and their entire staff. Camp New Dawn is a grief counseling retreat in which numerous children who have lost family and relative to loved ones of the opioid crisis have the opportunity to be a part of something else. We will also continue to support the Giving Edge run by Bobby Woolley and Colleen Williams, which gives children an opportunity to excel in fitness programs outside of the sporting curriculums that they may not participate in at school. All these achievements are possible with the countless donors, sponsors that make up over 300 companies or individuals. I do want to mention a few that are here today because they've all been instrumental in our success. Steve and Mary Principe of Crown Homes, Amelia Foxwell, Mike Hamner of Asai Farms, Mike Kramer of Three Bridge Builders, Brian Stitcher of JBS Accounting, the McGrath and Petrie family of the Libby's and Bay Bridge Marina, Keith Hutchins and April Danenberg, the Julian Rosella Foundation, the Jacob Sloan Team Tracing Foundation, Mickey Steele Foundation, and I'm sure there's over 200 more sponsors that I'm not mentioning, but we are all here today because of you. I'd like to bring a special attention to the staff at Chesapeake Beach Club in Noxies and Libby's Coastal Kitchen, specifically Katie Singer and Colleen and Shepard and Derek James, Nicole Palumba for organizing our events and our support. I also want to recognize our county government, our commissioner, state's attorneys, sheriff's department, and chamber of commerce for their continued support over the last five years. I also want to thank the people at the state of Maryland from the governor's offices and the comptroller's office for their recognition within our community. This is the type of collective effort that we thank from, from the bottom of our hearts. We have some special people that we want to recognize that are doing some special things at the Chesapeake Community College. We have, three to, we have them here today, Amber McGinnis and Michelle Hall of Chesapeake College. They are, have a program there for individuals seeking a career path in substance abuse counseling. If they could please join us, we have a moment that we would like to present you with a check for the annual Anthony oh, Scholarship Fund. Fabulous. So, guys, I happen to have five of my much coveted comptroller medallions. <laughs> this is a knockoff of Louis Goldstein, my great predecessor. <laughs> but That's awesome. I'd like to give one to each of you. Thank you. Thank you. Morgan, so beautiful what you oh, said. Thank you. Yeah. And congratulations on the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Also some good news, we have some upcoming events. Oh, good. Go ahead, Tony. What is the date of the weekend before Thanksgiving? Uh, November 19th? I want to say November 19th, we're going to do our, our, our uh, inaugural Anthony's Anglers Rockfish Tournament. It'll be hosted here. Um, 
we got to get with uh, Nicole Palumbo. I know she's here somewhere. We got to get with her. Get on that one. We also have a date set in stone for our black tie uh, event, which is the casino night, which is the Carmen Principe uh, night. That's going to be an amazing turnout. It was a great turnout last year, um, as well as we have SantaCon coming up in December. So appreciate everybody. What about the race? Do we have a race this year or not? I, I don't have enough time to get to the schools. We, we missed oh, Anthony Schwan again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We will have in the spring. Count me in next time. All right, you're running. And if I could give this to you, Tony and Laura, this is a certificate from the state of Maryland on the occasion of being awarded the 2021 William Donald Schaefer Helping People Award. Heartfelt appreciation for tirelessly raising awareness and fighting opiate addiction. In memory of your son, Anthony, your brother, Anthony, your efforts to support grieving families and those in recovery are invaluable. Warmest wishes for many years Thank of success. Thank you so much. Yep. I appreciate it. All the best. Yeah, so good. You guys. Yes, uh, the award. Thank you very much. Fantastic. And uh, one more round of applause, please. And if there's any golfers out there, yeah. September 6th, the Sloan Foundation September is. Are you September 9th. 9th. September 9th. There's just a few more spots left, right? Yep. At Queenstown. One heck of an event for a fabulous foundation itself. Fabulous. Always support us. Appreciate it. Well, we're making this presentation to uh, uh, this wonderful organization that supports families that have been affected by uh, members of the family uh, who they've lost through opiate addiction. And uh, it's a big problem. Continues to be a tragedy. This organization is a small but mighty group of volunteers uh, who have come up with an uh, organization that is very effective in a small way, but very effective uh, in avoiding these kinds of tragedies. Well, everything is so dire these days when you read the paper, everything, there are all sorts of problems going on, and volatility and uncertainty uh, with where the world is headed, where the nation's headed, where the state is headed. And so to see a little ray of hope and sunshine and forward momentum from a group of folks that are just volunteering but offering their experiences to help people, other people, other families avoid the kind of tragedy that they've experienced. So this is a good news story. I'm delighted to be out here giving them the William Donald Schaefer Helping People Award because this is, uh, this is not a big, wealthy organization that has all sorts of paid staff. This is a small community group, but it represents the best of uh, Maryland. Well, I'm going to take a little lunch with me because uh, this is such a great restaurant. And uh, but I'm headed down to the uh, to Mako to the uh, events down in Ocean City. Really?